again, as I said in my brief um, recognition of the award, um, we are here really to represent the patient with Wilson disease, their families, and the many caregivers that are actually working every day trying to eliminate uh, the terrible consequences of this genetic delirium disease. Uh, as I said, there are still today, after 100 years, too many children, too many young adults that are suffering from irreversible consequences from this disease that is really related to the dysfunction of the protein that allow us to actually manage an essential element like copper. Copper is one of the essential elements. It's very important for our energetic balance. But in these patients, uh, the protein is not working properly and therefore they accumulate in tissue, the liver, the brain. And as a consequence, as being described one and a year ago, this patient develop liver dysfunction, liver failure. They may lead to liver transplantation, but most importantly, they have a lot of uh, neurological and psychiatric symptoms. Uh, so patients, uh, kids in their elementary school age, for instance, doing extremely well in school, being athletes of success, suddenly start to struggle with it. And so this award means that this disease has to be recognized, has to be given good treatment. These patients should not be any longer patients. They should just be patients that are um, that have an abnormal protein. And this is our goal, and it's a goal that goes beyond this particular medicine, 1840, as I mentioned. Actually, it allows us to actually work on better diagnostic, earlier diagnostic, so that an effective therapy could actually eliminate the symptoms that are sometimes irreversible. Yeah, no, this is a fantastic opportunity uh, as it is for scientists like me. Uh, it's always nice to actually understand other people's perspective and what they do. And so I was spending time actually with a psychologist who is uh, now living in Israel and doing social psychology and uh, talking to uh, one other individual who actually is uh, a neurosurgeon. Uh, so obviously this evening is very useful for uh, all of us uh, to understand and hear what's going on. Uh, I don't think that anyone has actually heard about Alexa before tonight. Uh, maybe some of the people forgot about Wilson disease, although many of those um, colleagues of ours are physicians. Uh, we all studied it some time ago, but then we forgot because there are not many patients and especially if you are in specialty medicine, you may not see this patient ever. Um, up until a year ago, I did not remember Wilson disease. And then I had the opportunity to start working on this program and I remembered that I studied it. Uh, I had never seen a patient um, like this. Um, but it's extremely energizing to actually see that you can make a difference for these patients. I mean, seeing these children, these young adults, uh, that uh, we actually see walking in the street, not knowing what their problem is, and actually having the ability to understand what they go on with their life and uh, the ability to prevent for this uh, symptomology to, to appear is extremely uh, rewarding. Um, we hope that this drug is going to be working. We don't know yet. It will take another couple of years to know it. But certainly now there is a, let, a better recognition about what is going on and clearly it's very energizing uh, to be here tonight, to be recognized. It was clearly a surprise for us to be recognized. Uh, but we are very grateful that you did. Thank you.